Hi, today we're gonna take a look at the mixed numbers or mixed fractions. Are you ready? First, we need to remember that in a fraction like this one, the top number is the numerator and the bottom number is the denominator. Once again, the top number is the numerator and the bottom number is the denominator. Nice. Now let's focus on our topic, the mixed numbers. And here I have the first example. This mixed number is read as 6 and 2 fifths. As you can see, this mixed number contains a whole number and a fraction. Yes, here we have six holes and the fraction two fifths. But wait a second and let's take another look of this fraction because this is a proper fraction. Yes, this is a proper fraction or a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is less than the denominator, the bottom number. In this case, the numerator two is less than the denominator five. Therefore, this is a proper fraction. And now we're ready to see the definition of a mixed number. Pay attention. A mixed number is a number containing a whole number and a proper fraction. Once again, a mixed number is a number containing a whole number and a proper fraction. Let's continue with another example. And here we have another example. This mixed number is read as 2 and 3 fourths. Don't forget that a mixed number is a number containing a whole number and a proper fraction. Here we have two holes and the proper fraction 3 fourths. And we know that this is a proper fraction because the numerator is less than the denominator. That is right, the numerator 3 is less than the denominator 4. Finally, we're going to represent our mixed number using a model. First, we're going to represent the whole number and then the proper fraction. What do we need? We just need a geometric figure. And this time I want to use a circle, yes. This circle represents one hole. Here we have two holes, so we're going to draw one and two whole circles. And then we're going to shade them completely. Perfect. Finally, we're going to represent the proper fraction 3 fourths, so we're going to draw an identical circle. Since the denominator is 4, we're going to divide our circle into 4 equal parts. Since the numerator is 3, we're going to shade 3 equal parts. Are you ready? 1, 2, and 3. That's it. Here we have the model that represents our mixed number 2 and 3 fourths. However, if you don't want to use circles, you can also use squares, rectangles, or other geometric figures. That's all for today. Over there you will find more lessons about mixed numbers, and over here, more videos. See you next lesson, and have a good day. Bye!